Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Casual Flacker here. Back today for episode number 10 ish of our Skyrim Let's Play. And today we are here um, being attacked by a necromancer, apparently. Um, and we're here right out in front of a uh, Ustengrav. as we look for the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller because for whatever reason everything else that we've done for the Greybeards is not enough. Never mind the fact that they were the ones that summoned us. We've already taken down a dragon and learned their shouts and all this other fun stuff. They uh... yeah they're just not having it. So yeah we are going to Go further in and see what we can find. I'm sure at the end of this we'll get a nice little word of power and I'll be able to learn it because we don't have any dragon souls. out here really trying to body me with a pickaxe seems reasonable seems reasonable okay I guess my game audio is recording it's being weird earlier it didn't seem like it wanted to record but looks like it's doing it now so we'll continue on At least I can have confidence going in here, knowing that there's nothing, there's not going to be anything that's like ridiculously crazy high level that we can't deal with. It's, I mean, this theoretically should be like the fourth or fifth thing that we do in the game. Yeah, get a drugger. Hey. Hey. Oh, that wasn't what I thought I had equipped. Well, now we know. Let's, uh... Let's get that equipped here. So I don't know what all we're going to manage to accomplish today. Um, I don't know for sure how long this is going to take. Um, I would really, really like to get to a point where we can stop messing with this, but we'll still have dragon spawn and we'll have, you know, we'll be getting shouts and we'll have our one shout completed. And are we going to level up? No, we're close though close. Probably the next time we level up Illusion should be right now. I was right. Look at that. Level 35 Illusion. And we are now level 18 I believe. So, so what do we need to level up? One handed. Do some stuff into that alteration. No, no. I guess we should put some points into this so I can cast the spell without losing all of my magicka.
Our case is where we walked in at. <coughs> Couple of nice little potions. Coin purse here. See, it takes a keen eye to notice stuff like that. But a lot of y'all wouldn't have seen that. But you gotta know. See, look at all this gold back here. Okay, we're taking the tankard too. Uh, I think we took another tankard. Yep, we're just clearing them out of all their golden tankards. There's, we'll see where this here tunnel goes. So we're gonna explore the tunnel some, because you never know what you'll find. We're gonna get something really neat chest. Soul gems. Not anything crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, just, I'm a little disappointed. But that's okay. It was all stuff that we can use. Dudes coming to life. Hello, Mr. Draugr. Goodbye, Mr. Draugr. Oh, oh. Alright, you'll see it. see it. Absolutely love to see it. Well, as you guys probably have already figured out based on the fact that the video is there and present, the last episode did work. Ooh, it's a nice little enchantment um but yeah the last video did work um i know like i said it was a little bit shorter um and in all fairness if i was confident in the episode i probably would have done what we did and gone into this cave or this barrow and cleared it out all in the same episode but yeah i didn't want to have to record re-record all of that um but it worked fine um I hope. I haven't watched it on YouTube. Hopefully it didn't do something weird in the upload process, but it was fine when I it was fine when I watched it post recording. It was fine when I watched it post render. Um, so hopefully that doesn't mess with it too much. Oh, I do remember this place. Yeah. See there's a word of power down somewhere. Down there on the ground somewhere. No. You love to see the fire plates. Gotta love those. Hopefully I'm going away that gets me downward. I don't know what this this one down here is either like a wind shout or like a frost shout or something like that. Or it might be another part to become ethereal. I'm really not positive. Or it could be something else entirely, and I'm just making stuff up to make y'all see to make y'all think that I really know what's going on when I actually don't. The world may never know until we get there and find out. Yeah, so hopefully when this episode will be fine. Um, I do want to get it done, uh, rendered, uploaded, all in the same day, so that y'all have stuff to watch. Ooh, cheese. Do we have, need to have another conversation about cheese? I know how uh, well received that conversation was for some of you. Let's just uh, go up these stairs here and see what's what. Okay, we've definitely already come across this way, but maybe we didn't. I don't know. Where did we come from? We came across over there. Alright, cool. Can't go that way. We can't go this way. That takes us down, down, down. There's an enchanting table in there. Body 
stronger. I need a stronger over here. Okay, maybe not. I was afraid to jump because I kind of forgot the button. I didn't want to embarrass myself. Is this the button? It is the button. Uh, well, this is not the way. do this oh look at that looky looky we got us a greater soul gem a potion of destruction um, steel dagger that we don't want all right some nice little goodies disenchant yes we will disenchant that um, we do have a lot of stuff to be enchanted. It's, uh, enchantment. Um, I do think I want to put the, absorb health en enchantment on there. It's just 15 points. 11 points, that's not 15. Oof. Rename. We're gonna be here forever if I try to. And my enchanting increased. Yay! So now it's gonna recover a little bit of our health whenever we use it, so that's neat. You love to see that. Uh, I am glad you're starting to get back into the swing of wanting to play Skyrim. Um, I did have to work today. Um, but it was only like a half day thing so I woke up um, I woke up earlier honestly than I intended and then you know got ready to go showered and shaved and everything and then I went to and then I you know went and uh, went and did my thing um, and I actually had to go by my house and Make sure that my uh, dog is not escaping. So he's apparently digging under the fence instead of jumping over it. Now, it's a whole big thing. Yeah, so I did that, and then as soon as I got home, first thing I did was I was like, oh, you know, I talked to my roommate when I got back, and I was like, oh, I want to go upstairs and record. And so here we are. So. And I'm sure, like, once we get into some of the actual, like, or some of the different missions, I'll be having an even better time with it. Um, I think part of what bogged me down was just, like, it was, get, some of it was getting repetitive, and I was like, oh my gosh. But we're getting out of that now, and it honestly does feel like it's been a long time since I played, like, this mission in particular, because I don't even actually think that I do all of this normally. I guess I'd probably do it sometime, at some point, because I pretty much always have the spirit become ethereal. Okay, I think that's actually one of the things that I said. It was. See, I did know what I was talking about. I was just leading y'all on like I didn't. See, that's, that's big brain energy right there. It's big brain Skyrim energy. But I don't actually know how, I don't remember, like, how much I actually have to do after this to increase, or to get my final unrelenting force shout, and to get my last couple of whirlwind sprint shouts. I was like, if, to complete this 
quest, we have to use Whirlwind Sprint. But we don't have to use the whole thing, obviously, because we don't have it. That'd be kind of lame. Like, oh, you need this, but guess what? You don't have the whole thing. So let's actually go get that. I'm so sad only having these two shouts. Some of those shouts do get pretty cool. Like, the disarm shout, super nice, because nothing is high enough level to resist you, usually. You just see a random... A random ass bandit coming at you, and you you shout at him, and nope, and yeets the weapon out of his hand. Okay, so yeah, we have to activate all three of these, and then sprint through the barricade at the end. So what you gotta do is run, run, run it. <gasps> I don't actually know if it closes on you or not, and you get stuck in the middle. I've never had that happen. Uh, usually if I don't make it, it like, it like shuts in front of me, so I don't make it there. But... We got some, some of these spiders. And look, we're at, ha we're at full health. These spiders. Got that nice little 39 illusion. We love to see that. And my item has insufficient charge. That is like 100% the biggest issue with enchanting right now, is I do not have the soul gems. I guess I need to increase my. Because using Soul Trap should, in theory, increase my conjuration, I would think. I don't know. Some things increase really weird. Garnet gold. Some gold. Mysterious note. Yeah, yeah. Basically saying, hey, I took this. Come get it back. I like how the Draugr in here are dead. But every other one, this person left alive. It's like, oh, we'll see if they're actually worth if they're actually worth it or not. If they died all these Draugr, you know, then it's not worth taking a chance on them. Gold. Gold, gold, gold. Gold, gold, gold gold here on the floor. You know we love the gold. And what's in the chest? Ooh, some more gold. Firestorm. Oh, that was a spell tome. Uh, I don't know if we have mage light or not. I know we have candle light. We did not have mage light. I wish that, like, I know it would be kind of dumb, but, like, I wish that reading spell books increased one of your skills. Like, I'm not saying, like, necessarily that it gives you a full level on, like, okay, so that was an alteration spell. What if it did, like, it gave you, like, half a bar of XP onto that skill or something, or, like, a quarter of a bar of XP onto that skill? I mean, there's only, you can't spam that because there's only so many, like, once you learn a spell tome, it's done. There's only so many spells in the game. And since I don't think there's a max level in this game, it's not like it would be, it's not like you could get to the max level, you know, super quick and then just be done. I don't know, if I cast this, does it, or do I actually have to use it? I don't know.
duration should increase pretty Let's see if it's actually increasing not this way that's not the way to do that okay so doing that does not increase it <laughs> that's good to know you can't just walk around and spam that that does remind me though I have some potion ingredients to eat could have started there I guess but damage stamina I wonder if you can make a like really nasty potion that like damages everything. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to eat that last one, but that's fine. So yeah, you can't just walk around spamming soul trap. You actually have to like, I guess, cast it on something specific and then it counts it as being used. Which is probably for the best, because it would be dumb. Otherwise. Like, Muffle, the reason that that works for Muffle is because Muffle is a... Muffle casts, like, on you. You are, like, the recipient of that spell. I mean, I guess, theoretically, like, you could do the same thing, I guess, with, like... I don't know. I don't know how destruction spells work. I don't know if they, like, register as being used when you actually make contact with a target. Or if I could just walk around. You know, let's, let's do a little test here. Okay, so we have flames here. We'll do that because it's... So, destruction has no experience on it. None whatsoever. So if it increases at all, we know the answer. We'll sit here for, we'll say, 15 seconds. Ready? One, two. Three. We'll do it till the magical bar is gone. Okay. Let's go look. So, no, that doesn't work. I guess it registers when you. I guess it registers when you deal damage to something. I don't know. It's crazy that Skyrim has been out this long, and I don't know how that works. Um, okay, so this is Candlelight. So we have nothing in Alteration either, I think. Alteration. No, we do. It's about halfway. It doesn't look like it increased, but that honestly could have just been because of whatever. I don't know. I don't know. That's not the issue right now. <laughs> we shouldn't be finding ways to like cheat the system. We should just want to play the game. Oh, a troll. Ah. Fun fact for any of you that have not played ESO, Soul Trap is a very, very important spell skill thing. Okay. So I captured a soul. So let's see. Now is it registered? Now did it level up? I don't know why I keep going there to look at my skills. Yes, it did. Okay, so I'm guessing if I just like walk around, we'll see. Maybe I have to capture a soul with it or... I don't know. I don't know. Some of the leveling up on here is kind of weird. Like, I understand how certain stuff works, obviously. Like, okay, if I have a sword... And I just, like, go to town on somebody with it. Obviously, that's, like, each hit registers as, like, a... Something that will cause you to level up. And I assume it's, like, one experience point per hit or something. Or maybe it, like, is more than that at first. Highgate Ruins discovered. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I don't really feel like messing with it. Um, so let's go back 
to... I think we need to go to Riverwood. We do. Namira. That was the name of the Daedric Prince I couldn't think of in that other episode. <laughs> I knew there was another one. I knew it. I knew she gave you a ring that makes you a cannibal, but... I could not for the life of me remember what her name was. It's Namira. You start the mission in Markarth. Hello. Guard Do might I get nervous. A man approaches with his weapons drawn. Oh yeah? I will approach whoever I want to approach. However, I want to. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Sven's about to die. Time to travel. Oh. oh, I don't have soul gem large enough. Hundred percent missed him. Well, I sure hope they didn't kill anybody. We'll take this. So we can sell those. I remember when I first played the. When I first like downloaded the Dragonborn DLC or whatever, and I came here, I was super super confused. I was like, "What is going on? My cabbages!" They done messed with the cabbages. If y'all get the cabbage, re cabbage reference, you let me know. Yeah, I'm thinking we're... Yeah, we're definitely about to need an episode for... That's just dedicated to leveling up smithing. I've got to at least get to the point where I can do enchanted stuff. Which requires, I think, level 50. Level 60. <laughs> okay, so level 60 is what we need to get to. And then 80 for Ebony, 90 for Daedric, 100 for Dragonbone, so on and so on. Okay, I don't know why this quest made itself active. But yeah, anyway, the first time we were on to multiple things, we will probably have an episode sometime soon. It may, I may get like the dragon or the dawn guard stuff started, and then. Oh. It's really great we're friends. I was hoping to find some way to thank you. I hope this does the trick. Oh. Ale. Divine okay. smile on you, friend. Thank you so much. Trinkets, odds and ends. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Because, yeah, we're not cutting it with what we have. We sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. I can go... Okay. Trinkets, yeah, what we have is not cutting it right now. We got to be able to improve this stuff a little bit better. We're gonna get bodied when we start trying to deal with things. Let me buy your. Ooh. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna buy it anyway, just so I have it. Just so I have it, we're gonna buy it. I'm not going to buy any filled soul gems. I'm just going to buy empty ones. As if I'm using... If I'm using the... Uh, if I'm using soul traps, then I don't need to... 
go out of my way to... I think I already have that enchantment. I don't know about that one. Six damage to this. Yes, you can have those. You can have that. These. Eleven garnets. I just hear iron claw. Uh, Silver things. So you can have that. These three tankers just to get them out of my inventory. You can have that. You can have that. And do I have anything worth two? I do. Look at that. Cool. All right then. River was agreeable. Well, now we're stacked up, There's stocked beauty up. Here, unmatched Ooh. in all of Skyrim, to be sure. You're now we're stocked up on uh, the ye old whatever those are. Jeez, soul gems. Get me mad, and I'll prank you, and not a little, a lot. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem alright. This man, he's like. This would be it. I'll I'm prank you. Keeper. It's my attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. All right, we're doing a little alchemy, increasing this here with your stuff. Very much like to restore or discover. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Ain't much else to tell, he says. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Yeah. I you're damn right I am. Is. We need to talk. Follow me. Okay, guess we're doing this, and then we gotta go back up there and give them the Horn of Yergenwind collar and get our shouts, and... Yeah, it's a whole big ordeal. If we go down here, we do get some cool things. Search chest. Bear pelt and some gold. I'll take that. Take this coin purse. Close the door. Okay. Now we can talk. This false back panel. Nobody can know this is here. Obviously. And we gonna take all your potions. All your potions. All your ingredients. I wonder what these I wonder what this stuff does specifically and why it's all here. The greybeards seem to think you're the dragonborn. What? I hope they're right. What do you think up there? Oh, I wish I saw that first. You're so lucky. Surprise. What is she doing down I'm here? Pretty good at my harmless <laughs> this little girl just like follows us in here. I was expecting someone tell her. General Grievous. You're shorter Wait. than I expected. The whole point of being in hiding is to appear to be someone you're not. It was the only way. I am not your enemy. I all, like I said in my, I'm part of a group that's, if you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. We remember you're the only. Can you do it? I like how he says a you Dragonborn. Could, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. I knew the great. When you showed up here, I knew you were. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk. Yes, but that isn't important right now. We remember you're the only one that can kill a dragons aren't just they weren't go now something's happening. Oh <sighs> I've gotta do this to get the dragons to appear. I know Oh my are. gosh. I visit and I figure we're going to go there and you're going to kill that dragon. If <laughs> a few years ago I said almost the same thing to a colleague. Kinds Grove. There's an ancient drag I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. 
the traveling gear is literally just leather armor and <laughs> it's leather armor hey, and a sword get on the road to time's gate. take this don't want that take this the blade sword is cool I just wish it was better Anything we can make? Um. Lordnar, I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. Let's do a. We either need to con. We need either need to fortify magic a region. And it only does four percent. Fortify alter in one percent. One percent. Okay, never mind. As long as you've got the souls, honestly, the fortify water breathing enchantment. Oh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're just like spamming them. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go talk to the graybeards first, I guess. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're splitting up, lady. I got other things to do. Things that don't involve you. We're gonna go to High Hrothgar. Mm -hmm. Talk to the Greybeards. Get our final, the final parts of our shout. Why does it take me so far over here? Now we're gonna do this, talk to them, get the final parts of our shout, and then we will end the episode there. And with that, we will... Uh, in the next episode, we'll go fight the dragon in Kynesgrove, and then, maybe, finally, we'll get to start doing the Dawn Guard stuff. I mean, I guess, to be fair, I'm glad that all of this took, like, ah, 10-11-ish episodes. Um, well done. You have now passed all the trials. Yay. Come with me. Um... Yeah, I'm glad this took so many episodes because it meant that, you know, it means, that, like, okay, this section, this 10 episode section was like the tutorial part with a little bit of me wandering around aimlessly. And then, oh my god, why is he way up there? These dudes are slow. And then, we'll have another section, hopefully, like, 10 episodes or so that's like. Hopefully, like, okay, we're doing the Dawn Guard stuff here, and then maybe we have one that's, and maybe we'll be high enough level that, like, all of the Daedric missions will spawn in. So I do think you have to be level 30 to get the one for Boethia to spawn in, and that's really one of the ones that I want more than anything, because I really like that armor. Um, push, unrelenting force. Okay. Uh... But we do have a couple of them. Oh, I think we only have one active. I guess we can go to the Shrine of Zero Two and get that started. But anyway, so we have those, and then maybe that'll that'll probably take us like five, six, seven episodes, depending on what happens. And then. I don't know if we'll do all the Dawn Guard stuff straight through. Like I said, we need to have an episode where we sit and grind out our smithing. Um, I don't know if we'll get it to level 100 in one episode. Um, but if I can get it at least up to the point where I can smith Dwarven stuff, that would be nice because once I get to that, it's a lot easier to do... Um, it's a lot easier to do smithing upgrades because like a lot of the dwarven stuff all you need to do for it is to have dwarven ingots you can get dwarven ingots really easy because all you need is to go into a dwarven ruin and pick up a bunch of their stuff so you just have to like clear your inventory out honestly the best way to do it is to clear your inventory out get the standing stone that upgrades your um upgrade your carrying capacity and then do the and then have a follower with you 
you can carry everything. So we'll probably do that at some point. But that's an episode for a later time. I mean, honestly, I should really be doing more, more just like casual smithing to get this up here. Because I need eight levels to get to Dwarven. Um, Elven I don't care about. I don't ever use it. We'll probably honestly just go like around and then up to Arcane. Um, enchanting will need to level up. I do want that one and then that one. That one. I d would like the level 100 one. But... I guess let's recharge this. It took two soul gems to recharge that. That's unfortunate. Okay. So. Here's what we're going to do because, fun fact, Kinds Grove is way over here. We could walk there <laughs> from White Run, but we're not going to do that. We are going to take the... We're going to... No, I can't. I'm jumping. Oh my gosh, I'm jumping again. Too much jumping. We're going to fast travel to the White Run Stables, and then from the White Run Stables, we're going to take a carriage over to... Uh, Windhelm and then from Windhelm we'll walk there it's a short walk from Windhelm and that will lower the time that takes and then we'll get dragons randomly spawning in I really honestly forgot that you had to do all of that <laughs> to get dragons to spawn in as you would think that like oh the first one we killed our first dragon now they're going to come and attack us no no you have to do all of this and then it finally decides alright Let's put this random thing in. So yeah. But we do have all the words to Unrelenting Force now, so that's cool. Um, we have two of the words to become ethereal, one for Aura Whisper, one for Whirlwind Sprint. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're gonna hang out. We're gonna chill right here up on top of this carriage. Or maybe not. We're gonna chill right here. Looking out at this beautiful landscape. Also, I'd like to point out we still have not picked up another follower uh, after I feigned all away before. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do in the next episode. Is do that stuff. And maybe I'll... I'm jumping again. What am I doing? Is That's a Daedric mission. We want to do that. Dragonborn we're not going to do for a while. Because you need to be pretty high level to do that. Um, and that's kind of more of a post... Like... Okay, I've accomplished everything. In, or I've done the main story mission. Let's do that. We need to do that mission at some point. I guess I should return to Klimic. Um, that will get me a shout. Need to do that. But anyway, I'm babbling. This episode's too long. <laughs> and I don't know if my... Uh, I don't know if my game... I guess it did. Okay, it heard that horse. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Um... Hopefully Skyrim is back on a decent track and we don't have a big break in stuff again. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is Casual Flacker saying 